And finally, after two years, I am saying goodbye to my beloved Ronin S. In these two years of usage, I had so many great moments with this Ronin S gimbal. I shot so many cinematic portrait videos, as you saw in my channel. I uh, shot uh, two or three short films and many other stuffs, and I was really glad with the performance I got with the Ronin S. But today I'm going to sell my Ronin S and get the DJI RS2. And you might ask why I came up with this decision. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to sell my Ronin S and get the RS2. The first and the most important reason why I'm selling the Ronin S to get the DJI RS2 is that I had so many micro jitters, especially when I was using the Ronin S in flashlight mode or when I was spinning around the subjects, I got so many micro jitters which I really, it was really hard to fix them with warp stabilizer and also sometimes you could not do anything about them. So this is the biggest reason why I'm selling my DJI Ronin S. I'm not saying this is a major issue, it per works perfectly fine, it gives you a great stabilization, but sometimes on a spinning around subjects I got this problem. I don't know if it was from my gimbal or other DJI Ronin S have this problem too. You tell me if you have this gimbal in the comment section, I would be glad to hear from you. The second reason which made me sell my DJI Ronin S is the weight. The Ronin S is around, uh, I think, 1.8 1 kilograms, 1.9, around this, and the new DJI RS2, which is made of carbon fiber, is around 1.2 or 1.1 kilogram, which makes a huge change because I also mount my monitor on my gimbal for shooting my cinematic portrait videos, it would make a whole lot of difference. So another reason why I'm selling the DJI Ronin S is the weight. The third reason why I'm going to sell my Ronin S to get the DJI RS2 is the lack of a screen on the Ronin S. The new DJI RS2 has a beautiful built-in screen on the gimbal, which enables you to dial in your settings and change everything from the gimbal itself. But with the Ronin S, you have to connect your mobile phone to the gimbal and then go to the mobile and change everything, which makes it really hard, especially when you are at a project which, with low time. And the fourth reason which is not really important and I came up with a solution for it is the lack of hand grip for the Ronin S like the one you see on the DJI RS2 you can hold the gimbal really easily for flashlight mode and also low angles. And also on the Jiyun Crane gimbals you see that they have designed like that. But I came up with a solution and I got the PGY Tech hand grip mount for my DJI Ronin S. So you can watch that video if you are not upgrading from Ronin S and you want a better experience. You can get one of those hand grip mounts to use your uh, Ronin S better in low angles and also flashlight mode. So these were my four reasons to sell the Ronin S after two years and get the new DJI RS2. I will be getting this uh, new RS2 in this week and uh, when I get it I will uh, definitely make some videos about it and also we are going to shoot some amazing cinematic portrait videos. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you do not miss my cinematic videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next videos.